Okay, now, where was I? Right, uh, so we have actually managed to accomplish something here, and now I want to try that we that the stuff we have uh, this far actually works as expected. So let's add a menu item to call the update functions and because as per usual nothing ever works as I would expect we will be fixing bugs also now oh yeah this is still the same coffee I had one hour ago this is cold coffee cold coffee okay so I'll change my alarm clock again and uh, let's put it to 16 o'clock and after this part I think I'll make my lunch okay there we go let's start <laughs> right, I'm trying to remember here. What the bloody hell is that toast? Toast is the thing where you can show a small text message on the screen. God damn man. Toast. There we go. There we go. Good man. Very simple stuff, just, uh, you know, tell the user when something fails, but that's something that should never fail. And here I'm looking at the settings, like uh, this, uh, there's some settings I have no idea what they even do. I mean, we really need to make another video and port these to modern Android paradigms. Because, yeah, obviously my knowledge is way outdated. But, yeah, those videos might be useful. I cannot even remember how to handle menus. Oh, that's quite fine. And yeah, we are basically just creating a menu item so you can click on the menu button and then on refresh so we can activate the whole stack of, uh, you know, call the uh, uh, list, um, list adapter and tell it refresh and that should call the Reddit client which owns the H. I'm slowly beginning to realize that I'm developing this in very obsolete way, apparently, so <laughs> it might be not so good idea to try to uh, re-implement my stuff verbatim, but instead read the documentation and find out how to create modern apps. But as I wanted to work on 2.2 and onwards, I'm still going to use the old style. Apparently there probably would be a way to support uh, these new things on all platforms. Unfortunately I was unaware, unaware 
of this when I started. So now I'm doing mm, doing kind of stupid stuff. Maybe I'll create another video series where we'll where we will port this to modern UI paradigms of Android. Damn, because yeah, that act action bar stuff would be pretty neat. But on what's So there, I'm trying to uh, scuttle with the fragment stuff, which I don't really understand yet, because I haven't read any documentation of these fragment things. It seems pretty neat, and it seems to be the way forward. Um, and I really, really need to uh, read up on that. I mean, it seems that everything in modern Android apps is just a fragment. Because also, in some future episode, we are also going to implement a, what's that, a settings thing. And I'm going to just blatantly use the settings activity, which can, which can, like, just take the settings from an XML file and automatically save and load them for us and nowadays we should be using settings fragments but we will get to that later so blah 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 fidgeting around with the tab host let's see we are still using let's see when you first toast them. What's happening here? Ah, right. Uh, here I'm uh, trying to figure out which uh, tab is selected. Uh, which is kind of useless because we need to rewrite that stuff anyway. But that's the way it goes. You don't know you are doing stupid shit until you actually run into problems. Okay, uh, I added a ton of breakpoints and uh, let's see how it behaves. Will it even start? Okay, hooray! At least we have an empty UI without anything. Anything? Oh crap! <laughs> there we go. Uh, do we, did we crash already? Yes. One time exception. Three and play destroy activity. Okay, we are probably trying to destroy something that we are not. Supposed to destroy. So let's just try and run it and see what we are doing. Because I just changed from orientation, so that I think that will actually it will destroy and recreate the whole view. 
just kind of silly. I recall this way to not to do that. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Java now put to exception. Okay, client release. Okay, we haven't created. Oh, right. Well, that's quite simple. Forgot to remove that. We are not actually having anything there. But yeah, that's not very nice if it's every time we are changing the orientation, it will recreate the whole thing. Hmm. We really would like to avoid that and really re reuse the same components. Oh well, I'm being lazy now, so let's just try again. Okay, we have a UI here. And we can change the orientation. Good. Now, menu, and we have the refresh button here. There we go. And uh, let's see. Okay, and hopefully we are now in a breakpoint instead of crashing. Now we should see all kinds of interesting stuff happening. Okay. And we are now at... Um, this screen is a bit small for this purpose. Let's see. Okay, so we click that. And let's see what are the hotkeys in this debugger. I've been switching UIs too, so I can't remember. Um, run step over it. F6, F7, F5. Uh, what's the continue? Resume F8. Okay. Okay, good. We are going there, so F5, step into, we will try to find the tab host, okay, I think we found something, okay, not what I expected, so let's debug, we'll have a look into this tab host, children, Children count one. Oh right, we don't actually see those tabs there. Crap. Okay, so that's not probably the correct way to create the tab mm, view. Yeah. This might get quite complicated. Okay, whatever. I'll figure out what to do with that. So let's continue working. And then we go into <coughs> research mode, which should have maybe be done a bit earlier. So, uh, we will learn that this is not a good way to create tab hosts on an old Android platform. And there's no really backporting way to do it. Uh, maybe. But I couldn't figure it out. Okay, so, yep. Yeah, just trying to figure out how to use the tab hosts. Am I using it in the correct way? Obviously not. Hmm. 
and this is always annoying. Finding kind of sort of way that might work, but no fucking idea why would it work. No idea what that does. What what is uh, local activity manager? What does it do? Why would I use it? But you know, Stack Overflow tells me that that's the way to go. So let's try it. This is one of those annoying things. <clears throat> I have no idea what that does actually. The dispatch creates and what is that? Um, yeah, that whole dispatcher thing, but I'm going to try it anyway. Yes, yeah, so I said. Yeah, so let's just try something because someone on Stack Overflow said that yeah that fixed my problem so let's uh, try to recreate the same circumstances and kind of sort of do it in similar way yeah dude did you notice that there's a lot of warnings about uh, deprecated APIs might not want to do that. Yeah, it's just copy pasting code. Uh, that's always a good idea. Okay, so we will get our tab host and do what with it? Okay, so set up. This should fix everything. Run it, man. Run it. I dare you. I double dare you. Run it. Okay, first of all, we are using deprecated methods and classes, which is bad. Yeah, we need to rewrite this, the UI later. But now I'm trying to just create it in a way I thought I knew how to do. So, I'm now going to create three more, or actually just one more activity. Or a view in XML, whatever, uh, yeah, activity, and we'll, and each of those will, yeah, three more activities, one for each type of list, fuck, this is so inefficient, basically showing the same thing, oh lord, how, uh, hmm, no, Screw it, I'm not going to use those tabs at all. I, pff, we are now going to rewrite them. You are using list activity. Let's see if it's if list activity is deprecated. I suppose it is because let's see. Hooray, list activity is not deprecated. So I'm going to actually remove that whole fucking tab host. I'm going to replace that. Um, replace that um, tab host with just one list, and then we will add some other mechanism to select which one of those things we want to show. Oh lord! But yeah, this is <laughs> this is how development works in real world. Real world, when you don't know what you are doing. And so we do. And yes, this is how it works. Uh, 
And yeah, basically, for list view, you just need to name it in a certain way. And yeah, here I'm just, yeah, I'm actually saying that. Yeah, just copy pasting stuff from Android documents. And delete all of that, all of that, all of that crap. Get rid of that. Shade. Yep. Okay, so let's try this again. Okay, now we have the empty list here, at least it says ref refresh pending there. Let's try. Yes. And okay. Item kit item ID. Okay, and to set six and refresh. Okay, we will create the URI. Create new clients. Okay. Let's see for user agent is nice now. User agent. Looks like that. Red it light, net, blah blah blah. Yeah, that looks good. And let's see. All right, this is the constructor. Yep, so let's step out. And this should start the task in the background. Okay, good, good. Two in background is running. Ah, crap. Ah, <laughs> that's stupid. Oh. Let's restart that. Fuck, I'm stupid. I can imagine someone seeing when I was typing that original now. No, you stupid fuck, it's compared to one, you stupid shit. Okay, let's just yeah, refresh. And no, not that, so I wanted to click F8. And yeah, that works fine, I think. Oops. So we can remove these unnecessary breakpoints. Okay. And this worked fine, so go on. Okay, so and hooray, that works. Oh, shit, what now? Oh, I accidentally stepped into and no, yeah, just wrong button, no problem there. Okay, on post execute.
and now this is running in the UI thread so there shouldn't be any problem manipulating UI we, we should be able to also like uh, stop uh, a refresh animation running or something like that if we want to, want to. so okay update list results let's see yes that looks good data looks good Oh shit, what now? Oh, I think that <coughs> Eclipse is trying to expand that result now. Oh fuck. Oh. Stop, 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 stop. Yeah. Should I just kill it? I suppose. I might need to restart my computer if I kill it. But we are almost done anyway. Yeah, I think I need to kill it. And I'll just restart it. And yeah, let's try running it again. Yeah, 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 yeah. Use same device. Okay, that looks fine. Press yes. So that works fine, so let's remove the breakpoints. What? Hmm? Okay, fine, don't work. Okay, there we go. Good, good. Everything seems to work this far. We need to rewrite the whole UI at some point, but let's not worry about that now. Because the next thing we want to do is to create the JSON. JSON. J S O N. Oh, hello. I still have. Let's fix these warnings too. Okay. I guess those were fixed already. I wonder where where should we show up and down wall uh, I mean the score maybe we'll act like three small text views next to here those are still taking way more space than I would like we will hmm, make them still a bit smaller put like to TPI. Mm. 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 
because that's not really a lot of space. But then again, if I make those even smaller, it will be bloody impossible to click them by finger on small display like this. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. Oh, well, it'll be fine for now. But let's continue for a moment. Or let's find find again that. Well, All right. Yeah, it's actually four o'clock. Seems that my either my computer's clock is two minutes too early, late, early. Yeah, or my phone's clock is late. Yeah, mm, that's pretty much everything we are going to do now. I'm going to have lunch now. Delicious pork chops. Well, they're not really pork chops, like mm, thin. I wonder what they are called. Anyway, and some salad. There we go. Okay, time for lunch.